What is up people? This is Chris from Kitten Kapow and today we'll be going over the Riker Nylon Gear AFAC. Welcome to Kitten Kapow where we talk about gear aka kit and Kapow aka the sound the guns make so we are a gear and gun review channel going over some of the thoughts my thoughts on the pieces of gear and firearms that I may purchase. Hit that subscribe button if you do like the content so you can get updated whenever I release new content and comment down below on things that you think I can improve on in my presentation or maybe you have a suggestion on what you'd like to see next. Today, like I said, we are going to be going over the Riker Nylon Gear AFAC. What is an AFAC? It's a ankle first aid kit. So it's a holster that wraps around your ankle that holds your trauma gear. So why would, or why did I decide to start carrying medical trauma gear on me and on my person even? Uh, a few months ago, I took a trauma medical class and at that trauma medical class, it kind of opened my eyes to how quickly somebody can die from bleeding out. You know, what I thought maybe was like, you know, you see the movies and those guys live for like 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Um, but in reality, people can bleed out really, really quickly within a matter of two or three minutes. And so um, that kind of got me thinking, I need to carry medical gear. So I bought some first aid kits. They came in large pouches. Um, they came in different pieces and they were really unwieldy to carry. But I did carry one in my, you know, my work bag and I put one in the car and you know, all over places, I kind of stashed these things. But ultimately what I realized was if in a medical emergency and really did happen and somebody was bleeding out right in front of me and I had to run two minutes to my car and run back, by that time, that person could be dead. So that really got me thinking about carrying medical gear on my person. Uh, so initially I started carrying around a tourniquet in a pocket, which was kind of uncomfortable, but you know, I just sucked it up and said, I'm going to carry a tourniquet in a pocket. And then I decided that I wanted to expand that, maybe find a different way to carry the medical gear. Using my Google skills, I ended up coming upon ankle first aid kits. Lucky for me at the time, primary and secondary was running a group buy on these Riker nylon gear. So I jumped on that, got this at a slight discount, but did pay, you know, pay for it, just got lucky on the group buy. And um, you know, there's, I kind of came up with like two good reasons why I think this is a better product than the other ones out in the market. However, this is conjecture because I haven't really tried the other products out in the market. Number one is the build quality. So this is made in the United States out of 500D Cordura, weighs 2.3 ounces empty. So it's fairly lightweight. Uh, it's got awesome stitching. There's almost no wear on, the, on this, even though I've been wearing it for about three months every day. Box and cross stitching for everywhere that needs box and cross stitching. There's no fraying, no nothing. It seems pretty awesome. The other thing is, is actually how this is laid out. So reason number two why I think this is a better product is the layout. There are three vertical pockets, two wide, wider pockets on the outside and one thinner pocket in the middle. And also there's the sleeve in the back. And that's actually what sets this apart from other um, AFACs out there. The sleeve is for a chest seal. You can fold a chest seal once and slide it in there. It runs like kind of the full length of the AFAC. The other part of the design is this elastic piece here. A lot of other AFACs, they run a little bit longer just in case people have fat calves, which means if you have thinner calves or thinner ankles, you have to wrap that thing all the way around. Riker Nylon Gear decided to use a kind of a removable piece. This also allows you to, if you are wearing full size boots or boots that run up a little bit higher and you want your kit to wrap around that, you can use this uh, to extend the length and wrap around completely around your boot. Uh, the elastic's really nice. It's pretty heavy duty elastic. It's nice um, to keep things, you know, compact and pushed around your ankle. Um, so what do I carry in my IFAC? I believe this is a basic kind of bleed control uh, first aid kit. I carry a tourniquet. This is a soft T wide tourniquet. Um, I did initially carry a cat in here for a while, but uh, ended up purchasing a soft T wide and really enjoyed or really appreciated how thin that 
the uh, soft tee wide ended up being in here, so I swapped it out. I carry a pair of trauma shears in this skinnier middle pocket. And then in this third pocket, I carry a compression bandage from h and H. It's like a mini compression bandage, a pair of nitrile gloves, and combat gauze with the hemostatic agent built in. The hemostatic agent will, it'll help clot the blood uh, once you get it down to where, you know, the severed artery is or whatever is bleeding, you should just jam it in there. Um, on the back here in the sleeve, I carry a, a high vent compact uh, chest seal. I actually carry two of them fold in a single time. So this, this sleeve is really nice because other AFACs, you actually have to take that chest seal and fold it multiple times. And each time you fold it, there's a possibility of causing creases in there. And you know, if you take a piece of paper, fold it up, and then try to lay it flat on something, those creases pop up. And with the chest seal, you're trying to seal that out. So I really do appreciate that um, you don't have to fold your chest seal over and over and over again to be able to get that into your IFAC or your AFAC. Yeah, so what did I think of this? So, you know, honestly, the first day I wore this product or the Riker nylon gear, I thought I had made a big mistake. You know, it felt really uncomfortable. It was really unwieldy. I was like, man, this is really terrible. I do not want to wear this around my ankle. But, you know, I was gonna give it some time. I was gonna give it a week and let's see what happens. Uh, that first day I did use this uh, extension piece around my ankle and wore it with this. And you know, this day two, I was like, I'm gonna try to change it up. Took this off and just wore this by itself. It was a little bit more comfortable. There was less chafing. It was, um, it didn't seem as awkward. It also allowed more blood flow to happen to my feet. I think a couple times during that first day, this was just cranked on too tight and um, it made my foot fall asleep and it was really uncomfortable. But with this, uh, with no, without the extension piece and wearing it a little bit looser, I figured out that I like to wear it tighter on the bottom, towards the bottom of my ankle, and then looser up top. So it's kind of like this V-shaped action here uh, that I create. By the end of the second day, it wasn't, it wasn't feeling too bad. It was still a little bit awkward walking, but by the end of that first week, and by, definitely by the end of the second week, um, this became one of those items where like, if I'm not wearing it, it feels really, really awkward. Much like if you wear a watch all the time or wear glasses all the time and you don't have it, it just feels like you're missing a piece of your body. That's actually how comfortable this has become over time. So I would highly recommend, you know, if you are deciding to carry some medical gear on you, that you give an ankle first aid kit a go. Um, and definitely look at the Riker Nylon Gear product is uh, one of the choices that you go for. If uh, ankle first aid carry is something that you'd be interested in, definitely check out the Riker Nylon gear. There are links in the description to Riker Nylon who, who sells this. Um, there's also links in the description to all of the gear that I carry. I would love it if you guys would comment below and let me know if you guys carry medical gear and what you carry in your kit or maybe even what you think I'm missing from my kit. Thanks for uh, listening to me babble on about uh, the Riker Nylon Gear AFAC. Uh, if you liked what you've seen here, I would highly recommend hitting that subscribe button, leave a comment, thumbs up, all of those things. Uh, it'll help me a lot, out a lot. You know, my self-esteem really, really needs the boost from you guys clicking the like button or subscribing. Um, and so yeah, this is uh, Chris from Kitten and Kapow and I'm signing off. I will see you guys in the next review next one. Peace.